Yo, what's good, YouTube man? It's Gary with just another fan TV man. Back at you another video. Like the content of this video, go and smash that like button. Like the content of this channel, go ahead and subscribe, man. Look, so Ravens beat the Bengals, man, 34 to 20. Kind of take control of the AFC North in the game. That I guess you could say it was anticlimactic. Uh, a lot of star players getting hurt. Uh, kind of just choppy play on both sides, back and forth. But we're gonna get into all of that, man. Get the good, bad, and the ugly from the game. So let's talk about it, man. So now, first of all, I always want to start off with uh, who was injured in the game, right? I feel like, you know, we always got to talk about that. So uh, for the Ravens, three important players got injured. Two of them stayed out, one returned. So Mark Andrews, we know, got injured. Uh, ankle hit, uh, they call it a hip drop kind of tackle by Logan Wilson. Lamar Jackson, ankle, same kind of tackle from Logan Wilson. Odell Beckham, shoulder injury. Talk about Logan Wilson. Now, the Odell Beckham one, out to me, that was a clean hit as a football player. Odell Beckham already has an issue with his shoulder. Um, so he didn't return after that. Uh, Mark Andrews was out from the first possession of the game because of that. Uh, I think the first two tackles with the Lamar and, sorry, the Mark Andrews first and the Lamar Jackson one, I'm not going to say they were dirty, but um, I, I, I wasn't a fan of the tackle by Logan Wilson. You know what I mean? I'm not a guy that wants the hits taken out of football. I think that's what makes football a great sport, stuff like that. But, um, yeah, especially the Lamar one. It looks like he kind of, like, tried to twist his leg around. I, I I wasn't a fan of it. You know what I mean? I wasn't a fan of it. The Odell one looked to me like, like a football play. It is what it is. You know, sometimes it happens, right? Um, but to have the same guy involved in all three tackles is is something, right? That's, you know, that's that, that's crazy. Um, you know, I don't even talk about the other team's injuries, but obviously Joe Burrow gets hurt. He leads a great touchdown drive for the Bengals. He gets hurt, hurts his right hand. Like that right hand was already hurt, but he kind of re-aggravated it in this game. That happens in, what, like the second quarter. He's out for the rest of the game. So this game was just kind of very, very strange all around. But uh, like I said, we're going to talk about it. Man. Let's get into outstanding performers, the stats of the game, stuff like that. So Lamar Jackson has one of his best uh, passing games number-wise in a couple of weeks. So 16 for 26, 264 yards, two touchdowns through the air. <clears throat> Gus Edwards has 12 carries, 62 yards, two touchdowns on the ground. Another another two touchdown performance for Gus Edwards. Lamar Jackson rushes for another 54 yards on the ground. Keaton Mitchell gets eight carries for 33 yards. Odell Beckham has his best game as a Raven. Uh, seven targets, four catches, 116 yards. Uh, Odell looked fast, explosive. Um, he actually like the Odell that's worth you know 18 million dollars a day. Hopefully that shoulder injury is not nothing that's uh, going to keep him up for the long term, but he looked really good. After a Thursday night game, you know, these teams get like what's kind of like a mini bye week. They get 10 days off because, you know, they don't play on the next Sunday. They play on, they play after that. So hopefully this mini bye week for the Ravens gets a lot of these guys healthy because this was a very, very physical game and a lot of players left with injuries. So hopefully, like I said, this little mini bye week, players can recoup, all right? Um, so yeah, so Sean Bateman gets his first touchdown of the season, you know, one catch, 10 yards is what there's on that, but, um, yeah, strange game all around. I was talking about the defense as far as the stats go. Patrick Queen has 11 tackles. Roe Crossman has another 10 tackle kind of game. Uh, sacks, Justin Matabike, Tavius Robinson, the rook, he gets his first sack of his career. Odafi Owe, another sack. Don't look now, but Odafi Owe is a sack machine. I believe he has a sack in like uh, maybe three or four straight games. So, <laughs> <clears throat> shout out to him. Jadavion Clowney, Kyle Van Noy. Um, yeah, so that's, that, that's the stats on that side. Total yards, Ravens outgained the Bengals 405 to 272. And um, yeah, man, so, you know, it's kind of skewed because of what happens with Joe Burrow. But, you know, the Ravens played a good game today, right? They They, they did enough to win the game. And, um, hold on one. All right, man, excuse me. Y'all forgive me. Like I said, uh, if y'all watched my videos my other day, I'm still getting over a little bit of a cold, man. So y'all, y'all bear with me. All right. Um, so yeah, the Ravens are enough to win this game. Um, they got out of it without too many significant injuries. We, like I said, we'll see what Mark Andrews is happening with him. Um, hopefully it's nothing that's too serious. That's going to keep him out more than a couple of weeks. Uh, cause we ain't left the game. Could have put any weight on it. But, um, yeah. So, uh, some players that stood out. Kind of mentioned them already, but I'll say the three guys that really stood out was Kyle Hamilton, Lamar Jackson, 
and uh, Odell Beckham. Like I said, Odell Beckham probably had his best game as a Raven. Um, he over these last couple of weeks, he's looked real explosive. Like take the ball to the house when he touches it, kind of explosive. And I love to see that. Right, that's the kind of guy that when the Ravens signed Odell, you were hoping you would get that guy. And Lamar, he was doing his thing, right? I like the fact that the Ravens took multiple deep shots this game and just kept trying it, right? Um, didn't get discouraged by not hitting a few. You know, the one that Bateman was a great play by the defensive back. I think it was Cam Taylor Britt. Great play by him. The one to Odell. Uh, a lot was a little overthrown, but I think that maybe Odell really could have, he kind of stumbled and really could have got up to that. Maybe he could have dove for it. So, to me, I don't really count that as a miss, right? You know, that's the kind of is what it is on that one. And then um, he actually hits one to Odell deep down the field. That's the one he ends up getting hurt on um, on the tackle. So, you know, I love the fact that the Ravens were aggressive down the field, taking shots. And I want to see that continue, right? So you have to be able to stretch defenses vertically. The Ravens have done a lot of stuff that's good, short, underneath, and intermediate. But that, that vertical element is the last part of this offense, all right? Yeah, so um, like I said, that vertical element is the last part of the Ravens' offense that really needs to get unlocked. Uh, defensively, I thought the Ravens were okay on defense. Um, to me, the biggest thing that I thought was a little discouraging from the Ravens today was the fact that the Bengals running game had, to me, had way too much success. All right, the Bengals in the day with 136 yards on the ground. Um, coming into this game, they were averaging 75 yards coming into this game, right? Um, so Joe Mixon had 69 yards. Joe Burrow has 40 yards. Um, not sorry, not not Joe Burrow. I'm sorry, uh, Browning, the backup that came in for Joe Burrow has had 40 yards, right? Um, uh, let's say yeah, Joe Mixon had 16 carries, 69 yards, 4.3 yards a carry. This Bengals team is and was and is not a good running football team, and the Ravens gave up way too many yards on the ground. They are still getting little to no push up front. Um, uh, I'm just not a fan of how they're playing run defense right now at this moment. That's something they need to get rectified immediately, right? Uh, like I said, the Bengals, that was not a strength of this team. And uh, a lot of the times, the Bengals were coming out and they were able to get six, seven yards on a pop on first down. They even had a couple of explosive runs. We're talking about 10-plus yard runs down the field um, early in the game with Joe Mixon. So they need to get that They need to get that figured out because that's kind of popping out of nowhere. Um, the second thing, Marcus Williams had a great diving uh, tip. Uh, pass break, I should say, or the, I think it was the first drive of the game. Yeah, I think it was the first drive of the game. Also on that, maybe on that drive, on the drive after that, they throw a screen at Joe Mixon, and he just kind of catch tackles him because he can't lift his arm again. I'm going to say it again, man. I appreciate what Marcus Williams is trying to do. He's trying to be a warrior. He's trying to play. He should not be out there if he only has the use of one arm. I can't watch this guy continuously try to tackle players with one arm out there, right? And once again, like I said, he had a great pass breakup. If he's healthy with two arms, it's probably interception, all right? Because he baits Joe Burrow. He acts like he's going this way, comes back. Great instinct play. He can only get one hand on it because he can't lift the other one up. Um, The Ravens are putting themselves in a position where they are depending on a liability out there, right? And as good as Marcus Williams is, if you can only use one of your arms as a safety and you're the last line of defense, you're a liability out there, right? Uh, no matter how well he might have played and this and that, um, if they had to shut him down for the season, it is what it is. Because, honestly, he cannot tackle. He can't, right? You know, it is what it is. Right? He, he just can't tackle right now. So, um, I was disappointed to still see that what was that that, that was going on. Um and then um I talked about the linebackers having tackles, but it wasn't all great for the day for the linebackers, man. Uh PQ and Roquan, they're kind of getting picked on in coverage and passive coverage. Like, so you know, when Joe Burrow goes out, I mean it was a great thing for the Ravens. You know, I, I don't wish injuries on nobody. I hope Joe Burrow's okay. He's back the next week. You know what I mean? I, I hope he's I hope he's fine. But the way the game was going, the Bengals had a clear game plan. that They were going to attack the Ravens linebackers, whether it was with tight ends, running backs, whoever. They were going to attack. I mean, you know, so that's something else that has to get figured out because the first, you know, eight or so, ten weeks of the season, we weren't seeing teams go after Roquan, go after Patrick Queen in pass coverage. We weren't seeing that. Now we're starting to see that. The Browns got a lot of success over the middle last week. 
the Bengals getting lots of success to the running backs in the flat and over the middle to tight ends. Um, so they have to figure that out. Now, the pass rush still got home. They did their thing there. So it wasn't all bad. I'm not trying to make it seem like that. Like Kyle Hamilton had a great game in the secondary. He's a star player. He's a versatile Swiss Army knife. I love everything Kyle Hamilton does. So it's not that it was all bad, but very, very key things that they need to fix, um, that they need to focus on have to be fixed. Like that, the, whatever's happened up front with the run defense has to be solved because Cardinals, Browns, and now the Bengals, I've seen over the last month or so, the Ravens are not getting any push up front. All right, so that has to be fixed, man. Um, but like I said, I'm not feeling too great, so I'm kind of going to end the, the review here. The Ravens do enough to win. They have a hold on the AFC North, man. Uh, they're sitting at eight and three. The Browns and the Steelers play each other, so one of them is going to drop down the lost column. So uh, it's a good day for the Ravens fans, man. We will take the W and you know ride off to the sunset with it, man. Y'all have a great day. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on all the videos. It's Gabriel, Steelers Fan TV. I'm out.